सबको नमस्ते सो जस्ट टेकिंग अप अ फ्यू लाइन्स ऑफ कबीर टुडे फॉर रिफ्लेक्शन कबीर जी सेज पानी में मीन प्यासी द फिश इन द वाटर इज थर्स्टी एंड वेन आई लुक एट इट आई लाफ यू नो इट मेक्स मी लाफ दैट हाउ कैन फिश हु इज इन द मिडल ऑफ द वाटर थ्रू आउट नेवर अवे फ्रॉम वाटर is still thirsty and that is uh, a reference to the human condition uh, kabir kabir ji is hinting at the human condition that uh, in the middle of in the middle of grace in the middle of being held we feel lost we feel abandoned we feel as if we are uh, just not held which is not true so kabir uh, also uh, here kabir ji is referring to the mind you know the mind makes me feel owing to the the nature of the mind it builds fantasies it builds images that oh my god oh my god i am not complete and if i do this then i will get com- complete you know if i if i do this then i will reach peace you know if i 10 hours if i meditate then i will reach uh, you know uh, satisfaction or contentment so the mind owing to the fact that uh, the mind cannot stand the unknown the uncertainty it creates a kind of a plan to be home while in that what we are missing is that we are actually home we are home we were never away from home so the mind first creates an image that there is something wrong with me and if i seek if i seek something outside of me that will make me complete that will make me uh, you know uh, le- uh, that will make me uh, contented that will make me peaceful i am not at peace right now the mind creates this image you know owing to the fact that uh, mind th- throws everything into the future right so whatever is happening right now that is not enough whatever the life is right now that is never enough for the mind that is never en- enough and to be enough to reach a state of contentment to reach a state of completion it then does something you know i do something out of my incompletion out of this feeling of the state of incompletion i do something you know and i feel that will make me complete but the whole picture is a farce the whole picture is a fallacy because that which is already complete cannot be made complete and that's why we we suffer so badly especially on the spiritual path we suffer so badly you know oh my god i have been on this path for so many years and i am not reaching anywhere because the mind has given us a picture owing to whatever we read or whatever we you know uh, encounter around the mind creates a picture that there will be uh, a state where i will not be touched by anything so a big, maybe a craving for a state of numbness because the mind cannot uh, meet hurt intimately the mind cannot meet pain intimately when we are intimate with our own movements mind drops away mind falls away so it cannot be intimate now owing to the fact that it cannot be intimate with the pain the hurt the sensations right now so it creates an image that there will be one point when i will be free of hurt and then i will be complete and that stage almost never arrives you know we keep on suffering and even getting frustrated oh my god that state is not arising you know i am not progressing i am not progressing 
so can we look at the root of this seeking this outward seeking to make us complete you know then obviously we owing to this seeking that i am incomplete and something else will make me complete we fall into uh, so many things we fall into relationships we fall into jobs we fall into you know all kinds of situations because we have a promise somewhere in future that that will make me complete and that never happens because i am originating from completion i am whole in my incompletion i am still whole the incompletion the wave of incompletion is a wave the the thought in the mind that i am incomplete it's a wave in the mind i don't have to do anything about it that even the thought that i am complete that's another wave i don't have to define myself at all you know defining ourselves we put ourselves in limited boxes in limited boundaries why do we need to do that why do we need to put ourselves in boxes why not allow ourselves the space to explore to adventure to to look curiously at at this life the movements of life so can we look at the root of this seeking maybe something dissolves maybe the question that i have asked has just to be sublimated maybe there is no answer to that question so i have taken this thing very very strongly i have tied this belief to myself that i am incomplete that there is something wrong with me and no wonder that we find then people who exploit you know we we we, we get exploited because they promise us this completion you know they promise us that if you do this workshop or if you do this course with us you know you will reach a place which is a place of you know peace completion so we always seek outside because i have taken this belief so 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 strongly that yes i am incomplete i don't even question it what if in all my movements of life in all the ups and downs of life what if i was forever complete i was at home all the time nothing happened i did not go anywhere actually there is no else place to go there is no other place to go but home we are forever forever held even if we may forget that we are held we are held so can we can we then put all the energy to just this remembrance that i am home that even if when i am having a feeling of pain a feeling of you know anxiety i can be with that i am home let me see what anxiety is here for you know give it a seat let it stay for some time it doesn't want anything the anxiety does not want anything because i see that whenever i follow anxiety you know i do something out of you know i'm feeling really anxious i'm feeling really anxious and i do something about it i see that maybe i get a temporary relief but it never the anxiety never goes away right even when i do 10 hours 20 hours of meditation the anxiety will never go away and who is in me who wants this anxiety to go away go away go away why are you here why are you here maybe the anxiety just wants to sit in the wholeness of life can we just allow it place to sit maybe the restlessness just wants to sit be i don't have to do anything about the restlessness can it just be because this wholeness is there for everyone for each movement of existence so why can't restlessness be there what is so wrong with restlessness she is also a divine child she has full right to stay wherever she wants to stay i don't have to do anything about it she can stay and the moment i become 
comfortable with my deeply discomfortable feelings i let them stay i let them stay i don't have to act according to them i don't have to follow what they uh, propel me to do i don't have to do that i i can just let them sit and whatever action then i will do will be originating from a remembrance that yes uh, there is nothing that i need externally to complete me so i can do this action this feels right this feels right and then the actions emerge out of a wholeness or a completion and that's why kabir says that पानी में मीन प्यासी द फिश इन द वॉटर रिमेन्स फॉर एवर थर्स्टी एंड आई रियली लाफ अबाउट इट दिस इज वी कैन से डिवाइन कॉमेडी वी सी दैट अवर रिलेशनशिप्स नेवर फुलफिल अस बिकॉज द माइंड विल ऑलवेज वॉन्ट समथिंग मोर समथिंग मोर दिस इज नॉट एनफ वॉट एवर इज देयर दैट इज नॉट एनफ दैट इज नॉट एनफ आई वॉन्ट मोर आई वॉन्ट मोर and that more is a farce it is it is a fallacy because when even the more happens then there is another more so can we can we just let this craving stay can we just allow this craving for more to stay i don't have to act according to the craving yes the craving may be there the mind is there the mind will go up and down yes the craving may be there yes the restlessness may be there yet i don't have to follow it at all it can just stay it can rest in the wholeness of life it can rest in the in the in the presence vast presence of life so can we experiment with this and then we we see that uh, whatever we do comes out of 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 our fullness you know of our completion as if we you know a a mug which is spilling brim you know like full brim of uh, water you know then it spills out water so then we keep on spilling out spilling out our wholeness do we want to experiment with this do we want to see that we were never away from home no matter how many bad karma so called i may have done i was never and i can be never away from home it is not possible it is not even a possibility it is just a forgetfulness that happens that oh my god i have done so much bad you know there is no uh, salvation for me there is no redemption for me and right there in the middle of all that i am always forever home nothing happened as if so can i remember that can do i want to remember that 